so here's the longer version of the fascial seated stretching. Um, so I'll go through the same sort of warm up just in case you haven't watched version one. Uh, but this is if you've got a bit more time and just wanting to do some uh, stretching from a seated position, then um, always starting off with making sure our back is a little bit warmed up. So we're going to use backs of our hands as far up as we can. Take that down and into the sacrum and use our knuckles to just warm that up a little bit more. Okay, you could, if you've, if you've watched my morning, um, ease your body into your day routine, this is also a good time that you could do some twisting with that, but um, um, I'm trusting you've maybe done that or if, if not, leave that for another time. Uh, we're gonna warm up also our chest area because we're gonna be stretching out our arms and we spend a lot of time with our shoulders rounded, internally rotated, and we get a bit short and tight across the pecs. So again, either using, uh, you can use a soft fist just up and down your breastbone, um, or you can use a ball, a Davis sports yellow wool ball, um, so a bit of giving it, but tennis ball, whatever you've got, just up and down your sternum, football might be a bit big. Uh, so up and down, warming that tissue up. Then I'm taking my arm out and I'm just gonna go backwards and forwards across the pecs, up to the glenohumeral joint. So basically when you're hitting bone there, you're up to the joint, the shoulder joint. And then I'm just gonna go round in circles one way to warm up those tendons, round in the other direction. Back to center, cross the other way and round in circles one way, round in circles the other way. Okay, and then uh, I'll show you two different ways of warming up uh, the legs, but you could be using two balls, in which case uh, you would be backwards and forwards on your quads, <clears throat> maybe with a little bit moment longer, just when you come up towards your knees where uh, the quad tendon connects into the patella, so it's known as the quadriceps, um, the quadriceps tendon um, or the patella tendon, and then down your IT band at the side into your adductors, so your inner thigh muscles. So we're just looking to stimulate the fascia, the superficial fascia just underneath the skin. And, and then onto our glutes. And that superficial fascia then connects down onto the fascia surrounding our muscles. So we're warming our glutes up here. And this is, that's the chair, not me. <laughs> And then, um, and then I can at the right at the base of your bottom um, and the tops of your legs. Uh, you'll might be aware of your sits bone. So it's the bone to which it's also known as the ischial tuberosity, the base of your pelvis, and your hamstring tendons connect into that. So I can just spend a moment there where I'm helping to release that tendon a little bit. That can be an area where we're holding a lot of tension and so consequently the hamstrings are being kept tight because that attachment there is, um, is also tight. So um, sitting there for a moment and then backwards and forwards on our hamstrings on the chair. Uh, I have had clients also use uh, short foam rollers uh, on the chair as well as another way. So if you don't want to use your foam roller down on the floor and um, prefer to use it on the chair, uh, then you can give that a go too. Um, and then I'm just going to lift my knees up a little bit by having the balls just at the just behind my knees, uh, just to loosen up and get those joints uh, a little bit more lubricated, especially if you've been. Um, not moving them very much for a while. And then I can warm also down the front of my shins onto my feet. Not really gonna get a lot. I can do a little bit into my calves, uh, not quite so easy. Um, just before I go into a stretch there, if you didn't have the balls and you weren't using those, then just use the warmth of your hands, bit of friction, hamstrings, quads, into your calves and your shins. So you can do that quite nice and quickly just to warm all of that up and then maybe move move your bottom to warm your glutes up on uh, on the chair. All right, so from in down, down in this position, just gonna take my legs a little bit wider. So I'm stretching out through the adductors and my inner thighs. 
and balls on the floor. Let's do a bit of stretching here. This might be, if this is too low for you, uh, then, then don't, you could stay just in this position and just look at moving side to side. So you're still getting a nice sort of stretch and movement into your back. If, however, you feel quite comfortable going down as far as the floor, hands on the ball. But again, if you haven't got the balls, you can be just using your hands. OK, and we're going to breathe in, breathe out, push the balls forward and then back and forward. Back. This is also another one that if you've been doing, we're going to take one arm forward and one arm back. Sorry, another one that if you've been doing my morning uh, ease your body into your day, you could continue with this still sat on the edge of your bed. We're going to roll one of those balls out to the side, pop our hand on the ball and maybe if, you, if you're not reaching all the way down, you might just have your fingers on and you're going to take your arm out to the side and really stretch as if you're trying to grab hold of some rope that's stuck up there. Reaching up and you're going to turn your hand, your arm, your shoulder as round as much as you can because you're looking to stretch lots of different fibres. Reach up to the ceiling, stretch across, keep stretching, keep stretching, down towards the floor, roll that ball back. Um, that ball can now stay under the, under the chair, roll the other ball to the side. Stretch your arm up, and again, same thing. Really reaching, because we want to get three, we're trying to stretch three dimensional tissue through the body. Our fascial network is like a big 3D spider's web, body stocking that we want to refer it to, but it needs lots of three dimensional movement. And I'm going to stretch out, bring my arm down to the floor, roll that ball round and then look at rolling the ball up. And now we're going to stretch our legs out. You decide how much you want to extend. So that is a full extension and I'm bringing my toes up to back towards me so my foot's about 90 degrees. If however you started to get any cramp at all in your hamstrings or your calves uh, then just bend your knees slightly put your foot to the floor. We're going to go down three times and then the fourth time we're going to hold it so just using the ball and again if you haven't got a ball you're just going to be using your hands to walk down. So going down once, twice, and thrice back up again and last time we're going to take it down hold it there I'm going to start to move my foot so I'm engaging lots of different tissue and then take my arm out again and moving it from front to back really stretching out as much as possible reach up to the ceiling stretch across the room I'm still moving my foot then my hand's going to go onto the ball, I'm going to take my arm out to the side and I'm still moving it side to side, arms doing the same, reaching up to the ceiling. Keep that tension on, keep that stretch and still move it. So you're taking it further than you can and, or than you think you can, sorry, and then roll the ball back up again. All right. And then we're going down the other side. Two. Just go down as far as is comfortable for you. And fourth time down, we're going to hold it. I'm going to move my foot side to side. I'm going to take my arm out and move it side to side. Stretch up to the ceiling, stretch across the room. Keep that movement. Then swap my hands, take the other side, arm out and moving it as much as I can, front to back. Reach up to the ceiling, keep that stretch on, keep moving my arm and my leg until they join and we're gonna come back up again. Now you could finish there or, or you could continue with a little bit of resistance work. So now we're going to push the ball in at the side of our knee and as I push in with the ball, I'm going to push out with, with, my, with my legs. So working my abductors 
and then roll it to the inside. And as I push out with the ball, I'm going to push in so that I'm working my adductors. And then I'm going to squeeze two, three, four, five. Roll it out, push in with the ball, out with the leg. Roll it to the inside, push out with the ball, in with the leg, and squeeze. Two, three, four, five. Roll it out, push in with the ball, push out with the leg. Inside, push out with the ball, in with the leg, and squeeze. Two, three, four, five. Roll it out, push in with the ball, out with the leg. Roll to the inside, push out and in. And then I'm going to squeeze, two, three, four, five. And then I'm going to lift up, so a little bit of work to get those abdominals working. And I can either be having my hands on the chair or out to the side here so that I'm opening up through the pecs. Lost count, but we're just going to hold two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and back down. And then come put the ball between our feet, lift up. And again, take the time to keep those palms facing forward. So I'm opening up across the chest. Now, eight to 10 of these. Again, you could build that up and then hold and squeeze. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lovely. Okay, so enjoy, have fun. And see you again soon. Bye for now. Stay safe. Stay well. Bye.